Reform devotion number 27 of 365. He will let none of his words fall to the ground. By Robert Murray McShane. For as the rain comes down and the snow from heaven and do not return there, but water the earth and make it bring forth in bud, that it may give seed to the sower and bread to the eater, so shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth. It shall not return to me void, but it shall accomplish what I please, and it shall prosper in the thing for which I sent it. Isaiah 55, verses 11 through 12. In some cases, the word takes effect another day. One faithful man of God labored in his parish for many a long year, and though greatly blessed elsewhere, yet died without, I believe, knowing one of his people brought to the knowledge of the Savior. Another servant now stands in his room, and souls have been gathered in in crowds, everyone declaring that it is the word of their departed minister that comes up into their heart and makes them flee. Ah, oh, God is a faithful God. He will not let any of his words fall to the ground. The excellent John Flavel was minister of Dartmouth in England. One day he preached from these words, If any man love not the Lord Jesus Christ, let him be anathema maranatha. The discourse was unusually solemn, particularly the explanation of the curse. At the conclusion, when Mr. Flavel rose to pronounce the blessing, he paused and said, How shall I bless this whole assembly when every person in it who loves not the Lord Jesus is anathema maranatha? The solemnity of this address deeply affected the audience. In the congregation was a lad named Luke Short, about 15 years old, a native of Dartmouth. Shortly after, he went to sea and sailed to America, where he passed the rest of his life. His life was lengthened far beyond the usual term. When a 100 years old, he was able to work on his farm, and his mind was not at all impaired. He had lived all this time in carelessness and sin. He was a sinner a 100 years old and ready to die accursed. One day, as he sat in his field, he busied himself in reflecting on his past life. He thought of the days of his youth. His memory fixed on Mr. Flavel's sermon, a considerable part of which he remembered. The earnestness of the minister, the truth spoken, the effect on the people all came fresh to his mind. He felt that he had not loved the Lord Jesus. He feared the dreadful anathema. He was deeply convinced of sin, was brought to the blood of sprinkling. He lived to his 116th year, giving every evidence of being born again. Ah, how faithful God is to his word. He did let none of his words fall to the ground. Be of good cheer, Christian mothers who weep over your unawakened children. They may be going far from you, perhaps across the seas, and you tremble for their souls. Remember, God can reach them everywhere. A believing mother never prayed in vain. Be instant in prayer. God will not forget his word. He will let none of his words fall to the ground.